Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to add explosions to your video productions in Sony Vegas and Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Let me show you what an explosion can look like. I'm just going to play this clip right here where I've already added an explosion. Let's see a nice, clean explosion. I'll play it again just so that you can see again. So it's pretty easy to do and I'm going to show you the secret. The first thing you're going to have to do is go find you an explosion that you can put on your project. And a good place to do that is to go to DestinationFilms.com and when you get there click the stock directory link and look for free explosions. That one I just used is a fireball and it's from one of their free ones. And you, they've got several free explosions there. Plus they have packages of things like bullet hits and dirt blasts and other things that you can download. But the one that I just showed is a fireball. Once you get that, then you go back into your Sony Vegas Movie Studio or Sony Vegas and you import the file that you just downloaded. The one that I have is called tpipe01a-mov and you bring it up on the timeline wherever you want the explosion. And you notice two things. First of all, it's got a black background and second, it has some text on it. And we can get rid of the text just by scrolling forward until where the explosion starts. Right there. Now if we put our mouse on explosion, we still have that black background. And we definitely want to get rid of that. And the way we're going to do that is use chroma key. So what we do is we put our mouse on the effects tab right there where it says event effects and we click. And we want to look for the Sony chroma key, which is right there, and we click it. And then click OK. You notice our black still here, but here's our chroma key control. First thing we want to do is change the color. The default color here for the chroma key background is blue, but we're going to change that. So we pick the color picker and we're going to draw a big square box around that black. Like that. And notice that most of the chroma key is away, but we still have some artifacts. And the way we get rid of the artifacts is we use the low threshold slider to get rid of the, those artifacts. And once they're gone, we use the high threshold to bring the things back that we may have gotten rid of. And we want to blur it just a little bit. But let's test that to see what that looks like. And that's pretty nice. You notice the black is gone. It's got the nice smoke going through it. Nice explosion. Now in this clip there were two explosions and we may decide we want the second one. So we scroll right up to where the second one starts, which is right there, and drag it to wherever we want it on our timeline for that explosion to start. I'm going to play it again. Nice explosion. Now you may want the explosion on a different part of the screen and if you want to do that you use the pan and crop effect. So we use pan and crop. I'm going to move that over here so we can see our screen. Put our mouse wherever the explosion starts. And on pan and crop I usually use the zoom to, so I can see what I'm working with. I can move the explosion around by moving my pan and crop window. You notice that it moves the explosion around. So if I want the explosion right in front of that person and starting down low, I can move my pan and crop window there. And once I've done that, I can click play and notice the explosion is right in front of that person. I can change the size of the explosion, pan and crop, And then we can play it, see what that looks like. And that was a pretty nice explosion. Now to sell the explosion, to make it more realistic, you want to add sound effects to it. And I've downloaded an explosion sound effects. And to do that, I want to see my sound effects timeline. There it is right there. Put the sound effects. And now on a play, you'll hear the uh, explosion. So it's easy to do. Again, the way we did that is we started by going to the DestinationFilms.com site and we looked at their directory of effects footage and we scrolled through the directory and then you see that they have lots of different footage here. We came down to where we were the fireballs and we selected the Fireball K1 where I downloaded that explosion. And then once we've done that, we bring the explosion clip into our media pool, we drag it up on the screen, we would click on effects, we use chroma key, and then we put our sound effect to sell the image. And we'll play it. Pretty nice effect. You can find even more tips like this in my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio. You can find that at my website as well as at Amazon.